This is the only type of floor mat that can be used in all locations like entrance, toilet, kitchen, pantry, lift, hand wash area, and many more. And usually genuine and trusted brand would... Hey, what's up? Andy here. Okay, so throughout the years, we have got a lot of questions about floor mat, especially entrance floor mat. So I thought it is time for me to do a bit of explanation about each type of floor mat, like what it is made of, why is it only suitable for a particular area and why some material is suitable for few areas of a facility like entrance, toilet, and hand wash area. And some are washable floor mat. And should you go for washable type or just buy the cheapest one and use it until it is worn out and replace them every six months or a year? Because not all floor mat perform the same because each type of floor mat designed for a different purpose. Most people ignore the entrance mat part because of the upfront investment, which I understand why. Why you should spend the money if you can live without it, right? But the reality is that Entrance floor mat can help you save money in terms of cleaning labor and floor maintenance for a long period of time. Rib mat or needle rib mat. This is one of the most popular type because of the cost. It is called rib because of the double lines that look like a rib that stand up, enable shoe scrape on the mat. Although it is affordable, but the ability to remove dirt and moisture can be limited and the performance of trapping dirt will drop over time when the rib surface starts wearing out. Rib mat usually made out of PP with vinyl backing, which is not the most durable material out there, but it is not the worst material. It gets the job done for a period of time. This material is not washable. How you can maintain them is daily vacuuming, and the frequency of vacuuming might need to increase if the traffic is heavy because this rib mat has a limit on the amount of the dirt that can hold. Mats that is full of dirt is not effective at removing dirt from the shoes. Means it allows the dirt to be tracked beyond the entrance. This rib mat is suitable for light traffic entrance, low traffic toilets, or near escalator to prevent any dirt being tracked into the escalator unit itself. Koi mat or spaghetti mat. By far, this is the most common floor mat you see out there because it is one of the oldest type of floor mat. It is also widely available from any hardware shop. However, in commercial entrance floor mat, there are two categories. One with backing which we call it normal duty and one without backing which we call it heavy duty. I will explain the differences in a minute but for now, do take note that they are built for different purpose and usage. The one with backing, usually a bit thinner, lighter if you hold the whole piece and the so-called spaghetti or koi is thinner. Distance between the koi are not so dense and there's a reason for that. Because of the backing, one of the most effective way to clean them is by shake it off. And because of the koi is not so dense, it allows the dirt to drop in easy and drop out when we shake it off during the mat cleaning process. Whereas for heavy duty, usually unbanked and there's a reason for that. More on that later. The name heavy duty means it is thicker, right about 15 to 17 mm about there. The coil or spaghetti itself is way thicker than normal duty. With all this combined, it is a heavy mat. Therefore, it is very difficult to shake clean if you want to clean off and that's the reason why we don't have any backing in the heavy duty version. Because the dirt can fall through the coil and drop under the mat. All you have to do is lift the mat up, vacuum or sweep clean. Both normal and heavy duty coil mat is a decent scraper for dirt, sand, mud and it is not water absorbent at all. So we recommend you to use this style of floor mat if you have a second piece of floor mat right after the coil mat, meaning to say you have two piece system, one for the scraper and another piece of the mat is for the moisture and wet absorbent function. Where to place this style of floor mat? entrance and entrance only. I saw some place this type of coil mat near toilet entrance. The floor is still wet before and after the toilet entrance. I was like, why? Laundry mat and classic solution mat. All right, like the name suggested, laundry means washable. Solution means the color is solution dye. I will get there in a bit. This style of floor mat has a lot of advantages. It is thin, rather about seven to eight mm. You may ask how is thin is an advantage, right? Imagine if you have a swing door at the entrance. By using this type of floor mat, it will give you enough clearance between the floor and the glass door because of how thin is the floor mat. Because it is washable, we are talking about able to withstand commercial washing machine and commercial dryer. Pretty much like washing and drying our clothes. To be able to do that, the mat backing is made out from nitrile rubber which can withstand chemical, tumble dry and heat washable up to 240 times to be exact, means if you wash them once a week, you can wash them five years in total. Remember the solution dye we mentioned earlier, means the nylon surface is solution dye. Imagine a carrot, the color is orange from the outside and if you cut it, 
the inside of the carrot still remain as orange in color. That is what they mean by solution dye. And with that nylon surface, it just absorbs sand, dirt, dust, and moisture better. And very easy to vacuum, wash, or rinse off, and with a quick dry function if you decide to wash them. How quick is quick? within 30 minutes or less if you dry them under the hot sun. This is the only type of floor mat that can be used in all locations like entrance, toilet, kitchen, pantry, lift, hand wash area, and many more. And usually genuine and trusted brand would come with a two years manufacturer warranty. All right, that's been it. Those are the most common facts about each style of floor mat. With that, I hope it helped you to decide which material is suitable for entrance or other area of your facility. I'll put the link down if you're ready to get one. Give us a follow if you're on Instagram or Facebook and consider subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Stay clean and take care.